Hello everyone and welcome to our channel. Hope you all are having a fantastic day. Let us begin with the today's video. So this is update for you all. KPIT is hiring for freshers of 2022 batch. This is an off-campus drive and the position would be trainee engineer. The eligibility criteria is BE or BTEC and the applicable branches are CS, IT, ECE, ENTC, Mechanical, Instrumentation, Electrical and Computer Science and Business Services. Okay. So along with that, the location would be Pune or Bangalore. You can choose any of the options. Okay. And the last date to apply is 27th of April 2022. And the package is very high. It is 4 lakhs per annum to 6 lakhs per annum. And let us have a look at how to fill the application form. So after you click on that link, you will be getting to this kind of page. Here you have to enter your university or college registration number and here you have to enter the name of your college and it will automatically fetch the college and you can select the college. Okay. After that, you have to write your first name, your middle name and the last name. Uh, select your gender, your birth of date of birth. Along with that, you have to enter a personal email ID. Okay. And remember guys, please do not enter college email ID because that will not be considered. And you have to enter an active mobile number. You also, uh, Aadhaar card number is also mandatory. PAN card is not mandatory. You have to enter the permanent address okay you have to select the permanent address fill it everything district state street house number okay along with that you have to select a preferred location okay so for example you can select pune bangalore okay and no preference and if you do not get the preferred location what what would uh, like are you willing to still join the, uh, kpit or not okay and uh, uh, you have to enter the details of the college aictc id of college so you can go on simply go on google and search the aictc uh, ID of your college. Okay. After that, you have to enter the name of the university that you are studying at. You have, you can select any, you can uh, add the name of any university and it will get automatically fetched and you can select that university. Okay. And then category of autonomy of the college. You have to select whether this is fully autonomous or uh, can design own courses, but cannot award degree or affiliated to any university. Okay. So this is the thing. Please mention your training placement officer's name. So you have to enter the training placement officer name. Okay. And uh, mention your training placement officer email ID. Okay. So TPO's email ID is mandatory. Along with that, you also should mention the training and placement officer's mobile number. So this is also mandatory guys. Please take a note of it. Okay. And then you have to enter the address and you can enter the state of the college. Okay. Along with that, you have to add your educational details. Okay. So this is very important guys. You have to enter your 10th maths marks. Okay. And 10th percentage and year of passing of 10th. Now, uh, have you appeared for 12th? For some of you guys, you ha might have completed your diploma and then you ha might have completed your engineering. So they are asking for that. Okay. And then what was your specialization during your BTEC? So you can see you, there is there are multiple options. You can even be from automobile, computer science, computer science and business services, uh, along with that electrical, electronics and uh, telecommunication, infotech, instrumentation, mechanical, mechatronics, even automation. Okay. So they are accepting all these branches. So these are few of the details then which uh, which is the last semester of your ongoing. So are you in final semester or have you already completed it? So you have to enter the total percentage till now. Okay. And uh, if you don't have uh, the final semester marks, then don't worry. You can take an average of all the semesters and add it over here. And uh, do you have any proficiency in Japanese guys? This is very important. If you have proficiency in any of the language that, that is Japanese, Chinese uh, and German. So make sure that you that you will be given a higher priority over others. Okay. So make sure that you add it. Okay. And uh, along with that, uh, you should do a self-assessment uh, about your skills. Okay. So you have to rate yourself in C programming, you can select any, any one, zero, one, two, three, four, five, and then you have to uh, enter again for embedded C. So this is general uh, skills, uh, skill set assessment that is done by you. Okay. So you have to, like, there are multiple options. You can select all of them and you can tell them that whatever uh, is applicable for you or not. So if you possess a degree in mechanical engineering, mechatronics, uh, are you okay to work in other technology domains? So you, you can either enter yes or no okay and uh, if you possess uh, a degree in electrical engineering mechatronics are you able to work in other technology domains so they are asking this okay so you must uh, answer all these questions okay after that details about your own one best project so you have to enter the thesis mini project seminar or, or maybe a paper or po poster presentation if you have participated and what is the topic and you have to enter all the details maximum uh, 3000 characters can be entered okay Along with that, you have to enter some uh, miscellaneous information. That is, how did you come to know about this job opportunity at K KPIT? You can select anything, okay, or any one of them. So if you are watching this video, then you can select others, uh, okay, yeah. Uh, so what is the preference for the D2 coding test? So uh, you have to give the preference and what do you want to go, uh, like in which set point do you want to give? So coding exam in C or, or embedded uh, C programming. Do you want to give it uh, in object oriented design concepts and coding in C++? Do you want to give it in coding in MATLAB, simulating control system and uh, MBD, multi body dynamics fundamentals? Or you want to give it in fundamentals of machine learning and deep learning? There is last option called as fundamentals and coding. That is Java and allied technologies. Okay. That is web development technologies. Now you have to select your resume make sure that you possess all the skills okay mentioned in this uh, video uh, 
so make a good resume and upload it and you have to enter a visa size photograph okay you should enter this photograph and then uh, in case cgpa has been awarded by a college university please upload cgpa to percentage uh, conversion table here now in in, uh, in case if you are having uh, a cgpa then you must convert it into the percentage and you, you should enter uh, upload that file over here okay and then you can simply click on apply and then you will receive an email that your application is successful okay after that on uh, after 27th april 27th april is the last date after that you will uh, they will send you an email for your exam okay so all right guys make sure that you apply for this position and thank you so much for watching this video